Hey ladies and gents, so we are back today and this was a popular demand by a family member um, obviously you can see this is the bad blood predator uh, I do have the back for this um, and basically he goes around killing other predators and obviously as you can see just from his right arm um, basically he's got a predator here that he's killed which is pretty cool um, he does have accessories I shall find them out in a minute well I will just take that out. that is actually a mega block sword which I just put in there because I like it um, the accessories that he does come with is these head sculpts which are really nice sorry if you can't really see that that's my bad um, you can see inside so obviously he's taken the skeleton out and just using those as trophy uh, we do have this guy which looks really random but the details on this is, are actually actually amazing I know I said actually twice then but um, yeah same same has been happened to him um, he can't remember if he comes with a shark and I'll have a look in a second he does come with a, a sword just try and pry it out of his hands I will in a minute um, and he does have a tri wrist blade so three blades on his gauntlet um, let's try and turn. There you go. So you can just see the second and third one there, as I've pulled out the first one. Now the problem is, was I have with mine is he is really loose, and as you can see, if I, you can see he's really loose. Now there is actually a really good solution to that, which is uh, a bit of nail varnish. Uh, I don't want to show you the name because obviously trademarked and blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, a bit of bit of nail varnish or a bit of nail polish, um, and it stiffens the joints back up. So instead of actually having to pull his joint off or warm it up to place it back on, what I do is I just hold it open, put a little bit in there, and it should be good. But um, basically, the kneecaps are absolutely amazing. These sculpts, I'd love to know what these uh, what these are. It's near enough the same with any other figure. Uh, this is, by the way, Necker. I have a lot of predators, a lot of predators, and as you can see on my right, my right, um, I have a predator tattoo. So I am very big on my predators. But um, so yeah, this guy does have a eye piercing at the top here, and you can see his mandibles. He actually has red eyes, so I think that is sort of like a comic comic gimmick sort of thing um, but the back he doesn't come with a he doesn't come with a blaster which is to me it's not a problem but it reminds me something out of like Mad Max but a predator styled a predator styled figure now this guy doesn't really like to stand oh and he's got a right nipple piercing yeah, so I'll just point that one out. But it's the same with some of the figures that you get. Sorry, I, I do apologise. I didn't show you this one as well. And the details on these sculpts are really cool. Um, I would actually, like I said, I'd actually like to know what he's actually killed. That didn't sound right then when that clicked, but okay. But yeah, so that's the figure. He is a bit dusty. He's been in my wardrobe for a while. I'm just going to find the uh, just going to find the accessories out. Give me so two I seconds. Managed to find all the accessories, he does come with a, another hand for this side. Um, couldn't find that. Let me just adjust the camera quickly. And a lot of you don't realise I'm actually doing this off of a motorcycle camera, so that's why the audio in my last video with the transformer was a bit dodgy. But so you got two heads. You got this trophy, which I don't know what they are. But like I said, um, you got this bloody hand, which is nicely detailed. You got like the uh, the spikes on his knuckles, which is really cool. And he comes with a spear. Now, for me, I know it's not right because some people like to keep their collection collections like completely together. I have got all my bits and bobs. I've got all my bits and bobs in a separate box. Um, I do have the back packaging somewhere. 
I have kept them, but I've kept them apart because obviously you got the uh, the book on the back, like the uh, pamphlet, so that it shows you or tells you, um, you know, what the predator's done and what what the whole aim of this predator is. But that is this video. Um, but the articulation, I will apologise, we should go over the articulation. So the articulation is ball joints at the cr the crutch, you got double jointed knees, and you got a ball joint at his foot, which his toes are pretty cool as well. And yes, I do have a bit of glue tack because this guy, like you can see, he is very wobbly. But I might hopefully just be able to take that off. Um, he has got waist movement. You can swivel him at the waist, at the bicep, or whatever it is there. Um, arms are on a single joint, but they can go... Can we get this to go? Yeah. Get this to go all the way around? No. So they don't do 360, but they do go backwards and forwards. You don't really need too much posability with this, because obviously... He looks at, he looks good anyway, so, and that's what makes up for this. But can we do this side? Yeah, so we can do 360 on this side. Not that you'd want to, or any reason why. Um, his hands do move. They're on a ball joint. His head. Sorry, that's my mic. His head is on a ball joint, but I'd be very careful with the mandibles. I've actually in the post because they were so rough of it. They actually snapped these two mandibles off, being so rough of the post. Um, which I probably will end up giving this figure away and getting a new one. Um, but yeah, his head is on a ball joint, up, down, up that much, which, let's see, that much. Let's get the saw out of the way. The Jason saw, right. So the head goes up that much, goes down that much, left, right, and basically that is it. I'm not going to try doing 360 with his head because I don't want any of his dreads to come off. But that is this video for now. Um, I've got several other Predator figures that I want to review. So I just want to say a big thank you and like and subscribe.